project was process uh, i think somebody used the word some time back in our discussion process so i want to listen from you guys what do you think project project you know okay i i believe right now you know at least with the two set of keywords you know the definition of process so what a good process what do you think the definition of process so planning and executing huh? planning and executing okay this is like it's these two action verbs are uh, you know these things will come under the definition of management right mm. so but by the way good try good try it's a step by step method uh, for completion of any any thing okay step by step method for the completion of any work yeah that's good that's good so can anyone uh, remind me the two keywords what we had in our project two keywords in the project term yeah, temporary endeavor to undertake a certain activity that's okay yeah i'm just looking for the last keyword <laughs> to undertake unique activities yes 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 that's okay yeah, i need this kind of conversation okay, let us look at this is the definition of these are the two key terms what we what we have seen in the definition of project but when we see the process i'm just going to move to the next slide so if you look at the project what we know this is completely unique the project what we do may be unique in terms of the location or unique in terms of methodology use or unique in terms of the facility type yeah I mean, you can name it our unique in terms of stakeholders involvement so in a way the construction project or project in particular or even uh, software project or any r and d project everything those things are completely unique but if you look at the process it's a repetitive in nature we do the same thing again and again without any modification okay it's a kind of uh, if you go to the new place right how do you react you look things up with a uh, with a the third eye i mean with a uh, you put so much of attention to see things because the place is completely new just taking the example like maybe you are you are visiting maybe some european countries germany or somewhere this is the first place what do you do because the place is not uh, uh, familiar to you what do you do whatever you do whatever you see things around you have you 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 will put so much of attention to it because that experience is something unique and there is a kind of temporary endeavor you are just going there for a short while if you are not going there uh, for permanent right i am just uh, making that okay and then uh, the process just taking the example of your own region where you are residing now uh, in the vijayawada if you go to the city i don't think you you won't put too much of attention to uh, do activities if you are going for a shopping or if you are going for some other activities you won't put uh, too much of effort because you've been there last 20 30 years you know how to carry out yourself within the city this is a kind of layman example what i told you so i hope you are all able to connect the definition of project and uh, process here so let me uh, put out some of the example and uh, maybe you guys can tell me whether these examples are the project or process in nature a production of motor cycles in a plan so what do you think is this project or process it's a project i think sir so why do you think this is a project sir that, that's a pro uh, production it is saying this is the project in nature so anybody would like to encounter these or anybody would like to say okay this is not a product uh, this is not a process uh, this is a process or uh, you do you have anything to say sir it is not a temporary endeavor sir yes <laughs> so eventually you are saying it is a process right saying that this is a process or project sir making a movie is a project sir okay making a movie is a project yeah, exactly yeah you got that point <laughs> that is a project making a movie because when you make a movie uh, that's a temporary endeavor and at the end of it we are looking for some unique product or outcome or result and the people involved in that uh, movie either starting from director or producer or the uh, cast and crew right 
they are all uh, just come for there for the, the movie and they will just do it and they just finish it and then end of it they will move to some other project so anybody would like to say something on uh, making of a movie it's a pro- process or project do you guys uh, understood more or less you understood the definition of a project for making of a movie but what about the first two maybe you can yeah you can tell me any four uh, right now we are saying that making of a movie is a project so what about others maybe you can read through other two definition also other three design and development of a new television model and the last one serving customers in in a fast food outlet yeah yes is design and development of a new television model is a project so so why do you think we, yeah we yeah we are accomplishing that thing and uh, serving customers in a fast food outlet uh, it's like a process okay yeah a reasonable answer for that the example number 1 the production of a motorcycle so anybody would like to revisit any one any four or particularly on example number 1 the uh, production of motorcycles in a plant uh, it's uh, like a process because it is already uh, yes. and initially it must have created and now they are proceeding with the process it is a production so yes process. yes 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 so if you look at it uh, example number 1 production of motorcycles uh, motorcycles in a plant and then make uh, okay and the next one serving customers in a fast food outlet these two example number 1 and 4 it's a kind of repetitive activities whatever we look at this uh, the process it's a kind of repetitive activities we do day to day and there is nothing new to do but if you just look at uh, example number 2 and 3 where we are uh, encountering uh, something new that is something unique and it's also it's a temporary one and the design and development of a new television model design and development it's a temporary one when after the design and development of a new television model where will come the production of a new television model and because the specification everything is are fixed in that case the production of a new television model will become process but design and development of a new television model it's a process okay so let me move forward so what about the top right corner example i am expecting someone who have in responded to uh, the difference between project and process so what do you think uh, the picture on the right top right corner is it a project or process it's a project yes the one below i think it's a medical thing i think that's a process why do you think <laughs> it is a process because is uh, medicines are uh, manufactured every day okay okay yeah i i like your stand by okay you para if somebody will say okay this is the first time they are trying to create a, um, a new medicine so in that case it will become as a project but if you say this particular person is creating the same medicine over the period of time then in the case huh, it is a process if you are creating the same thing it's a process if it is a first time then it is a process what about the right down there is one more example right it's yeah. a project sir exactly okay yeah so would you like to extend what you are saying it is a project because the rocket launches won't we happen every day sir <laughs> exactly <laughs> and what about this one he is going to work exactly day to day activities right so what about this one process sir don't be doubt okay if you are saying project and process you know how to connect with the term these things whether these things are unique no sir they are this is kind of assembly line right yes sir so there is nothing new in here maybe we can add one more line here or we can cut one more line that is not really the value that is not something unique this is again it's a repetitive activity so it's a process it's a kind of assembly line so what about this one the last speaker so it is similar example to the the example number 1 production of motorcycle in a plant here production of cars in a plant the same things have been uh, just moved over the the assembly line and things will be fitted by the the workers they are not going to invent something new here if you want if they want to design something here maybe the the wheel or some other components of the car what they do they will take project nature design and development of a 
new car model and then that that one we can call it as a project but after the project what we have we have a process to produce mass number of items so what can you see based on these two definitions actually we understood the definition of project and process we can't through some of the definition so do we encounter project all the time or do we encounter process all the time or do we encounter project mainly and the process maybe little bit and the last part we always encounter process mainly and project maybe little bit so i think i gave you the four option okay so we encounter mostly project or we encounter mostly process or we encounter equally maybe project and process equally and then project major and process minor and then the last one process major and project minor so i think five options now <laughs> so can anyone uh, say something about just maybe you can take the example of anything any of this definition any of these figures and then you can explain yes sir without project there won't be process sir <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> that's like a fact right without project there won't be any process so project and process will be similar uh, maybe we encounter process mains sir okay okay in terms of uh, how long we perform that process activities so if we just take an example of any product maybe just take your own mobile phone or any laptop or any electronic gadgets or any other products or services in that case so what we do they they spend maybe one year or two year to design and develop that mobile phone or laptop and then the remaining maybe another five years or eight years till that uh, product will go absolute what do they do they just produce in a mass mass manner so if you just look at the duration 3 is to 5 so maybe one or two years will take it for design and development and maybe 5 to 10 years we will just produce the same products for over a period of time right so we look at the duration where we are spending too much of time we are spending too much of time in the process but right now the situation is opposite the current situation is opposite for a single product for producing the mobile phone we got varieties of companies so in that case you need to constantly be in the mode of project and process you need to make some kind of innovation or invention mainly innovation innovation in the part of uh, introducing some new feature into the mobile or laptop and then if you look at process phase i mean the user phase i don't think people are really using a uh, uh, mobile phone more than 6 months or 1 year now every now and then we are getting more number of new version of mobiles even with the same company every 3 months or 6 months at least in a year they are trying to come up with some kind of new mobile version with added features and not just that one company they back we have in the market so many different companies they produce different features and that the back side they are doing their own project uh, design and development so previously it was the case that uh, the process i mean the product development it took uh, more than uh, twice or three times of uh, the project duration but now both the things are equally important unless you do some kind of involvement in the project uh, nature i mean design and development uh, you won't uh, stand in the market right if you're not able to produce some really value added items people really won't buy your product right and then they will look at some other product from some other companies so we need to constantly uh, right now this is the situation okay maybe two decades back the situation is uh, okay you can uh, just uh, a design and develop one mobile phone mobile version and then it can sustain in the market for years but now it is not the case even you take any other example you can able to relate okay so it is a case that uh, you need to have project phase and then process phase but you once you know that okay the the current version you may find some of the difficulties some of the demerits or limitations then you want to rectify it what do you do you'll go back to the room i mean go back to your workshop to design and develop right that is where switching process to project again and then you once you fix the the limitations and then you can again release with the, the version 1.2 or 2 2.1 or something okay it will come to the market again 
and again because there are number of competitors they are adding some more features and in first condition you like to add some more feature once again from process to it will come again to the project but it, just uh, i am just got, uh, took an example uh, this uh, mobile phone or any other electronic item but uh, how about construction project do we really have a project within the construction project okay construction is broadly it's a project okay but uh, can we have some of the process within the project when we heard the term process you need to remember whether those activities are repetitive in nature so can you say can anyone can uh, respond to me saying that within the project do we have any process within the project we encounter these processes also see like yes. suppose if we go for a building project now yes. you have repetitive of uh, i mean uh, activities like a concreting uh, a brickwork and these are processes so they are the subsets of a process okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i think i uh, yeah, everyone got that point yeah thank you.